The prep before the vacation is always so much damn money. Taking time out to be what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i love you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're not new what's good what's happening welcome back so as you can see by the title of this video it's going to be a maintenance vlog a prep with me for vacation there is four days until i leave for my trip i'm super freaking excited honestly comment down below if you think you know where i'm going could not wait but you know that means i have to get myself together we got to do a little bit of maintenance so that includes my nails my brows my lashes my hair my skin i gotta pack so there's a lot that we gotta do and achieve in this vlog so we're gonna actually start with doing my brows today I already planned out what days I'm doing everything booked on my appointments because we don't do no last minute ish over here. We don't do that because I will be stuck in a rock in a hard place if I did that. <laughs> Today is for brows. I have had to go on Instagram and I searched Dallas brow artist. I had to go through a bunch of different Instagram pages and I stumbled across one girl. Her work looked amazing. You guys know I usually do my brows in LA. I go to my girl Touched by Biggie but of course I don't live there anymore so <laughs> here we are it was a struggle to find one but this girl she looked like she does a really really good job she's been doing brows for a while now i'm excited a little bit nervous because when somebody messes up your brows your whole face changes honestly <laughs> so anyways when i get there i will obviously put her instagram on the screen It'll also be in, down in the description box so if you're in dallas and she does a good job let her know i sent you <laughs> so these are what my brows are looking like they're not that bad but they definitely need a cleanup they need a shape up so actually gotta go right now my appointment's at 12 so i'll see you guys in a little bit So I just finished my brows and we have Jamie. Yeah, come and see us. We do brows, Brazilian, intimate bleaching, hair, all of the above. It's a one-stop shop. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Okay guys, so I just got home and these are my brows. I did have to wipe them off a bit because they were filled in like real, real thick. Like they were thick as like super thick and I'm just like, oh, I'm not used to that. So I wiped them off a little bit and this is what it looks like. I think it looks really, really good. I, however, like my brows better on like day three, day four because some of the actual tint wipes off so they're not super like in your face dark thick all of that so you did a pretty good job my eyebrows are still thick luscious they look good um they're just a little bit dark right now so as the day go as the days go on they're just gonna lighten up a little bit and it's just gonna give so i love them and I would definitely recommend her. That place is a vibe, like inside of the shop. It's a little vibe. They play great music. I was jamming the whole time. Everybody's like real chill, cool in there. It gives like hair salon type vibes where everybody's just like talking. So I did really enjoy it. Um, my experience there. It was relaxing as well. So if you guys are interested, definitely check Jamie out. She ain't my girl touched by Biggie, but she's just as good. And she got trained by somebody in LA, like the, the woman who did, who used to do Kim Kardashian brows and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's cool. That's very cool. 
so yeah let me know what you guys think i think she did a great job Good morning everybody. So today is day two of maintenance day and I'm doing my lashes. I'm so excited guys because your girl had pink eye like a week ago, over a week ago now. I thought I wasn't get, gonna be able to do my lashes but it's gone so I'm so excited. And I'm at iLux studio. It's so crazy because I found her on TikTok. She actually commented on one of my videos saying I used to live in that building. Duh, duh, duh. And then I went on their page and she did lashes. I was like, oh, I'm looking for like a new lash tech. So I'm gonna try her out. I've only been to two lash techs here in Dallas because I'm not really doing my lashes like that anymore, only for special occasions. That's what I decided because, I don't know, I just really wanna focus on my own lashes, grow them out, get them thick and everything. So this is actually a special occasion, so I have to do it. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging on myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work for you. Yeah. Guys, so I don't think I got to show you guys my lashes up close and personal. So the style I got was called Spiked Volume. So pretty much it's the volume style, but they add the spikes to make it look like more of a lash strip look. So that's exactly what I did and I absolutely love it. So I did the lengths, I believe 13 through 16. So 16 is the longest. So the spikes aren't that exaggerated. Um, usually the max I've ever been up to, I believe is 18 and uh, the 16 look good maybe next time i will try the 18 just for a more dramatic effect but i actually really really like them they look so good extremely full but not super crazy looking so there's so many different types of looks you can get so there's the classics there's the hybrid there's the volume there's mega volume there's spiked volume and there's mega spiked volume so there's a lot to choose from i don't like the mega look that is just crazy to me it looks like like a spider i don't know it looks crazy so i'm happy with the style that i chose i usually get my lashes done like the day before i go on vacation because you know lashes be dropping now and you just want the most full look and i'm gonna be gone for a good 10 days 10 full days so Oh, uh, I hope they last. I really do. I'm going to bring some lash strips with me just in case. But they're so cute. And I guess we can talk about how much they cost because this is a prep with me for vacation. The prep before the vacation is always so much damn money. <laughs> but it's all worth it. I always say it's worth it. Um, and I'm only and because I'm not doing my lashes all the time now, I feel like this was definitely worth it. So I believe I paid $200 and I think the original was two something, 250 or something like that. I don't know. I could be lying. I'll put it on the screen though, but she did, she gave me a discount because I found her on TikTok and she was like, I'm going to give you the TikTok discount. I was like, yeah. So yeah, her name is Ivory. She did such a good job. Service is top tier. The couch is a recliner when you get there. So comfortable. I could, you could literally fall asleep. So Highly recommend if you are in Dallas. She's near like the North Park area, so. We love. So yeah, anyways, tomorrow we're gonna be doing our nails and I'm gonna start prepping my hair for it to get done the next day. I wanna get the blow drying process out of the way. Just text, I know it's a toss oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now, right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we can run up 
you from the way now we grown up My little, yeah, made the realest ones nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it We could keep the place on snow, yeah Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment Alright y'all, so these are my before nails. Obviously they look really, really jacked up. So I'm happy I'm getting them done because usually I do press-ons, but I'm like, I'm going on a vacation. And I don't want my nails to be popping off every two seconds. So I was like, let me just do gel X. I pray it comes out good because these should be expensive, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys my inspo right now. Okay, so this is my inspo. You can barely see it. it's not coming up true to color, but it's like this pink chrome look, almond shape. Nothing too serious, but I'm going to insert the picture on the screen so you guys can actually see it. Okay guys, so these are my nails. I feel like it's not showing up true to color on camera, but they came out really good. So, what I will say is that the picture, I feel like on the picture it's a little bit darker, but she did tell me to go maybe a little bit darker. She gave me like two choices. She said they would both work, but she's like, maybe go a little bit darker if you want that exact look. But I don't know, for some reason I really like this. We tried it out on like a fake nail, but the fake nail had a tint to it. So I think that made a difference. So the fake nail was white and then we put it over, we put the color over the white nail and then she put the chrome over it. But my nails were the Gel-X nails, so they were clear. So I feel like it came out different on me than it did on the nail, which I should have took into consideration. But I did it. So if I went darker, it would have probably came out exactly the way it looked in the photo. But I'm still really happy with it. Like usually when I get my nails done, I'm just like, I never want to do my nails again. It's a waste of money. Da, da, da. But this is cute. Very cute. And I didn't want to do it too long because I hate long nails, honestly. So this is perfect. Super cute. Okay, guys. So I just got home. Y'all see my nails already. It's not showing up true to color on camera, which is kind of annoying. Went to Victoria's Secret. I had this card that I got from a brand. I can't remember who sent it over. It was Victoria's Secret. <laughs> they gave me a gift card of like $100. This was like last year sometime, and I never used it. So I was like, honestly, my panties be going missing some way, somehow. So I need some more. Honestly, they weren't even that cute, but... I wanted period panties. I wanted like just regular panties that I could just chill in because I hate wearing thongs and all that stuff unless I'm wearing like an outfit that calls for it. So I got me a bunch of like, I got some thongs and then I got some regular panties because I like those. <laughs> so I just got different colors. I got this green one and it says pink in the back. I love their seamless panties, especially because it has like the regular material, cotton material on the inside. So I got this bright purple one, another like period panty, chill panty, black. And I can get medium or small in them because they both fit me. This one, love this brown color. I like the seamless material so I can wear it with like dresses and it doesn't show through and then you can put them like high up on your on your waist and it kind of just sucks you in i got this gray one this nude well it's not my nude it's like white people nude but i was like who cares and then i got this purple one i love the purple because of the back the back is so cute that's so cute all lace I like that and it's just like a regular size panty mm -hmm. this one is crazy but I liked how thick it was like this will snatch me in for sure um, so that's why I got it got this green one 
and then I got this gray one again so I think I got like five thongs and then five regular panties so I'm about to take all the tags off of these wash them and I still have $36 left on my card so we are probably gonna shop again for some panties very very soon because I don't wear bras I don't really wear lingerie like that so panties it is so this is what my toes look like. They actually look really, really good. She did a good job. They look so good. Yay, feet are done. Nails are done. Love this for me. Good morning, everybody. So <laughs> today is my last day of running errands and doing things that I gotta do for my trip, so. The nails are done, feet are done, um, lashes done, brows done. The only thing I gotta do left is my hair. I would've did my hair a long time ago, maybe like a few days ago, but she only had this availability. And she's actually a subscriber of mine, so that's kind of cool. Um, so of course I'm doing goddess braids because that's just my thing too, because it has a curly that has a braid, so just, I love the way it looks on me, so. It is mad early in the morning, 8 o'clock. <laughs> I gotta be there for 9, so I just stopped to buy this little breakfast area for my building. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be like 5 hours, maybe 6, so I need to clean my system. I usually don't even eat this early, but I'm hungry. I mean, I've been going to the gym too, so my stomach has been on E and it's, it, needs, it needs the calories. This is my hair, blew it out yesterday real cute and hella long show you guys what hair I'm using so I bought these bundles from Eunice hair I wanted more of like a wave like curly so I got mm, it's not deep wave it is something else I'll put it on the screen but what the bundles look like. You guys can see the curl right there. Okay, because you guys always ask. So, so the hair is amazing. I need to obviously do expression and I'm doing tailbone length, so thank you. So I'm doing 58 inches of expressions. So but what I'm working with guys. I got me a cream cheese bagel. This is the everything bagel. Something to snack on. All right, guys. So I made it to my hair appointment. I'm about to get my hair done. Super excited. <laughs> Ruth is over here organizing the hair. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You know when we go on vacation, always have to braid our hair. Just the easiest thing to do. So I'm excited.
your girl just finished her hair and it looks so good. <laughs> Ruth amazing. did such a good job. Yes, oh my guys. gosh. Y'all should follow me on Instagram at Ruthless Styles, the Ruthless Styles. Yes. And you can book on there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Yes, and what like styles are, do you usually do? Like, what are you known for? Um, more goddess braids, mm -hmm. stitch braids. Um, that's pretty much it. I just do braids because okay. braids are the best. Nice. Yeah. I'm so ready for my vacation. Yes. She got me right. <laughs> Thank nice you for you. letting me do your hair. Of course. That's course. amazing. I'm literally like, she's OG. So <laughs> it's amazing I get to do her hair. Honestly, I seen her page or her work and I was like, I got a book. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are in Dallas, come check her out. Oh my gosh, guys. So tomorrow is the day that i leave for my trip my flight is at 10 45 p.m and outside in dallas right now it's like a winter storm and it's like hailing outside it's raining but it's turning into ice like it's freezing out there and i'm like so worried that my flight is gonna get delayed i mean if it does get delayed or for whatever happens it's meant to happen um but i just <laughs> i pray that nothing happens my flight is at 10 45 tomorrow so there's some time, but please, Lord, I cannot miss this flight. I don't want to miss any days. <sighs> My gosh. Anyway, so I'm just like working on a few things right now. I pretty much have everything together, but I kind of want to make a video or like a TikTok or something. So I haven't packed anything, but I just unboxed my new cameras. Cameras, yeah. <laughs> I like to give good content. I like to give you guys you know everything that my travel vlogs need to give so i got another drone i actually have the dji mini 2 so if anybody's interested in buying that i'll sell it for like a cheaper price and you guys can get that 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 was the that was the drone i've been using in all my previous travel vlogs but this one is the dji mini 3 and i got the fly more combo so it comes with like a bunch of other stuff like a carrying case more batteries all of that stuff and then i bought it with this so i don't have to use my phone which makes a big difference like on my dji mini 2 i did not like using my phone as like the map or like the controller hated that so i ended up getting this and why i got this why i upgraded was because this one has vertical capabilities and you guys know tiktok instagram those are really big platforms and I want to be able to do both YouTube and vertical Instagram and TikTok content. So yeah, I love that this can do vertical and horizontal videos. So this is the DJI Mini 3. I will link it down below. Highly recommend this if you don't want like a super big drone and you're a beginner. I'm definitely a beginner. Oh, and then I bought this. This is the Canon M50 Mark II. So the Canon that I usually use is the Canon M50. Um, just the, it, was, it was the first one that came out and I believe they discontinued that. I had that for like, what, four years? So I'm like, let me upgrade because also, I don't know if you guys seen it in my previous video, but like there's some like black marks inside the camera and I, could, I couldn't get it out. And I'm just like, the quality is not giving. So I wanted a fresh one. And um, yeah, so I'm like 2023, let's give the people what they want quality and then with this camera i use my canon 11 to 22 millimeter this gives the wide angle look love this lens my go-to lens this is my 30 millimeter with an adapter so this can also go on to this camera i'm going to use this for like photos because i want to up my photo game for instagram and then this is my sigma which i will probably use for like if I decide to do a content video on my trip, so I'd probably use this. And also it's good for TikToks as well. This is also wide angle, but not as wide as this. This one actually can zoom in and out. And then I gotta bring my GoPro. I'm not sure which version this is. I believe, oh, it's the GoPro 10 Black. It won't focus. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I use this for all of my underwater footage. And then this camera that I'm currently using right here is the Canon G7X Mark II. So I use this camera when I really don't want to carry my bigger camera, which is usually in the nighttime because it's really, really compact and it is perfect for low lighting. Like this has great low light capabilities. So that's what I use this camera for. But for the majority of my video, I'm using this baby. So yeah, that's, oh, and one more thing. This is the last camera 
that I'm bringing. These are just disposable cameras. So I'm gonna bring these to like Walgreens or something and then I will print them out and they're gonna be really, really nice. It's gonna give me, you know, that nostalgic feel that I can put in like a photo album or something. So a lot of camera gear. This doesn't include batteries, tripods, all of that. It's a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to charge these up and then I'm gonna pack them for tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, I'm such a camera girl. One thing about me is I'm gonna have a camera on me. I'm gonna have more than one and that's just what it is. <laughs> Everything I use will be linked in my Amazon store in the description box. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Okay guys, so it is the day that I leave and I'm praying for the best. I've been praying all day because it snowed today here in Dallas. Like rain, sleet, snow ice it's really bad so so far so good my flight is still coming i called qatar and i was like is everything good with my flight he's like yeah everything's still on time you're okay um so i'm gonna head to the airport soon my flight is at 10 45 i call my uber for 8 p.m and i'm just like hoping that an uber is even <laughs> gonna take because I don't have a car here Brian's not here nobody can come drop me so I scheduled an uber for eight hopefully I'll get there by like nine because I know driver is gonna be driving slow and thankfully your girl is doing business class I'm so excited I'm gonna be on the Q suites baby Q suites if you guys know anything about flying Q suites on the Qatar Airways is where it's at it's like top-notch service so I'm excited so that means I have TSA pre-check and all of that so everything's gonna be like pretty fast the line is gonna be fast so I'm excited for this business class seat though I'm gonna try to vlog it as best as I can <laughs> this is what outside is looking like it doesn't look too bad see the ice but anyways I am packed this is gonna be my personal bag so it just has everything that I would need um, while I'm on the plane And then, and then I'm bringing a big suitcase. Everything's packed. Um, I'm gonna do, I have a little pack with me that's going up on TikTok, so you guys could check that out over there. Everything is packed neatly in my little pouches. I like to be organized. And then this is my carry-on. Same for this. So, yes sir. I guess I'm gonna end this vlog here and I will see you guys all in Bali. Hey guys. And I hope you guys are ready for this travel vlog because it's about to be lit.